alaikum. Welcome back to the Bayside Jewel. Hope you guys are doing well. I really do. Is she uh, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice? And it's coming. It's coming. You know, uh, all the years that, that I've been here with this, this tree here that I'm standing by, I was under the impression that it was actually a pear, pear tree. But it's not. It's not a pear tree. And I don't know what this fruit is that's growing out here. Can somebody tell me? What kind of fruit is this? I asked my queen. She says, what kind of tree is this? What do you call it? Sukuma. Sukuma. I don't know what that means in English. But I don't know what this, this plant is. I kind of thought it was a jackfruit at first, but it's not, yeah. it's not a jackfruit. She knows jackfruit, so I don't know what this fruit is, but I've just been taking care of it, watering it, nurturing it. This was like I was going to grub on some pears, but she says I had this before. Oh, yeah, I do. I remember. I remember you showed me the picture. Yeah. Yeah. She, Yeah, I remember. And it was delicious when I tried it, but I don't know the name of this fruit. I really don't. So anyway, you guys, I see there's a, there's a lot going on with this U.S. dollar. And uh, the co coalition called BRIC, which is actually Brazil, Russia, uh, India, China, and South Africa. Then come together. They're really trying to squash this dollar. And it is a, a good concept, you know. That's the same concept that uh, Gaddafi had, you know. Uh, back in uh, one currency, buy, buy some gold, you know. Now, how is this going to affect us? How is this going to affect us? Well, I tell you, if, if the, the dollar actually loses its value, you know, significantly, it could definitely affect us, you know? Uh, when I was there in, in the U.S., I knew about this. I seen this coming years ago. And I stocked up on gold, you guys, some gold and silver, you know. You can turn some of that into gold and silver. And I'll tell you a good place to get some, some bullion. Um, it's, uh, I think it's called MPEX. So it's M-P-E-X. I think that's it. You can Google that and see what it comes up with. I'll see if I can find it and put it on here. But that's a good place for you to buy some bullion just to save some value of your dollar, you know. Now, as far as this dollar actually crashing completely, I don't know if they're, they're going to allow that. The U.S. is not going to let, let, let that happen. They're going to do something. You know, perhaps they'll learn to play the game righteously instead of manipulating everybody and bullying everybody because that's what they've been doing. So this is going to be a lesson lesson for their asses, you know, because they, they've been blackmailing people, blackmailing the, the oil mines, the gas mines, and everything else, you know. Everybody, uh, whoever wants to buy this oil, even though it's not in America, they must buy it in U.S. dollars, shit like that. That's what they were doing. So even Saudi Arabia to my understanding, is considering to jump on board right along with Mexico and quite a few other African countries. So this effort could be a really good, uh, uh, prosperous thing uh, 
as far as them wanting to degrade the U.S. dollar, it could probably work. It could really work. So Gaddafi was ahead of his time because he was he he was on track with this. This is what he was trying to do. But with all these other nations that are jumping on board, it's going to be a little uh, 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 complicated to just point out one person and target, you know, one person. But as far as uh, the dollar completely being deflated completely I don't see that happening those those are some of the greatest criminals in the world the US they'll figure out a way hopefully they'll they'll learn to play the game righteously like everybody else you know but these people are you know they're, they're forgetting about these sanctions and all that there's like fuck them sanctions you know they're that's, that's what, Basically, it's what they're doing. Fuck those sanctions, you know. Russia, when 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 the war kicked off, right away, Russia decided, you know what, you know, because the U.S. did all those sanctions. Remember, there was no McDonald's. There was no. Uh, they couldn't use their ATM. They they couldn't uh, get Coca-Cola. They couldn't get. <laughs> Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, a whole lot of shit that they got sanctioned on. So right away, Russia decided they were going to start using the yuan, Chinese money. And they've been doing it ever since. And so far, from what I understand, their economy is, it has been affected, but it's a lot of the shit that they really didn't need any damn way. Uh, all that fast food and Coca-Cola and candy bars and shit. That's all that shit got they got sanctioned on. So they've been they they've been stable. They've been stable. They've been providing. And uh yeah, providing for their people. But you know the thing is is uh you know this this game that US has been playing is is actually coming back on their asses this shit is being reversed so all these uh, African uh, countries that are jumping on board I, I even heard recently that there's a possibility for Nigeria to jump on board with this BRICS you know and using the uh, Wan, Wan uh, Chinese money so this is this this is a changer. This is a game changer, and this is it's like part of the awakening. People are man. If you only seen what was going on, what's going on over in France, Lebanon, and different parts of the world, this this thing is serious. It's it's worldwide. There's there's a war going on in in Sudan right now. So this shit is crazy. You know, it, it, it's just part of the the change. You know, we all knew when the age of Aquarius get here. You know, everything in the dark is going to come to the light, and people are going to see and start fighting for their rights. And that's what's happening. You know, um, this awakening, man. There, more secrets are going to come out, you guys. Some mind blowing ass shit. Guarantee it. Watch. But, yeah, just wanted to come on here and chop it up with you guys for a minute and uh, give you an update on how things are going around here. Things are going, things are going good still. You know, uh, my thing is, is for uh, a lot of the diasporas that have relocated to the African dollar, you know, to the African continent, uh, my thing is this is uh, I wouldn't worry too much, but I would would be trying to you know invest in where, wherever country that I am, like here in Gambia. Here in Gambia, you know, I, I bought me some land right off, so you know that's going to be helpful. Plus, you know, I'm, me, me and my queen, we're building a shop 
you know we're building a shop just to get you know some odds and ends here and there you know so the currency you know that 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 i I've, I've been getting from uh the u s you know from business and things like that I'm not gonna really worry too much about that because I'm gonna be generating some income right here in Gambia, you know, and plus you know i I've already like I said bought some land, so if I ever needed to, I could always sell some and 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 uh, you know keep on moving on that's what it's all about keep moving on i'm not going to be in fear of this uh this shit this change because it's actually for the better as far as i'm concerned because you know they've been us been playing bully bullying every damn body and how are you going to have the world's greatest currency and you ain't got no gold behind it that's just crazy it's just crazy to me. It ain't backed by anything. So you can just press a button and print as much money as you damn want. That shit just it never made sense to me. But you know, like like uh, so many of us know, uh, the the Federal Reserve is a private uh, organization. It's not. It's not part of the government. The U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve is not part of the government. It's private. You know, it was all all they're doing in the first damn place, right along the time of the, of the Civil War, which they instigated, Federal Reserve, and they, and they all got together and met down in Jekyll Island, and they knew the U.S. was going to be running out of money, so. It, which was their their plan so when when after the civil war they were like you know hey 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 w over here we can help you we can help you and they were printing up their own damn money and say here you take take this and uh you know just pay us interest and so they print private damn money for the u.s so what they did and you know, every year, so much of that uh, tax money goes to the Federal Reserve. So they're actually, what they did was put the debt on the people. So the people are paying taxes, and most, a lot of that taxes is going to the Federal Reserve. And believe it or not, some is even still going to uh, the royal family, the so-called royal family. Yeah percentage of that was actually going to the queen so those taxes yes what they were doing paying back the federal reserve and 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 they'll never be able to pay a federal reserve off they'll always be in debt to those uh to those clowns really they'll always be in debt but that's how that shit started and that's how the the um how they got their money going because be prior to that, you know, we, we did have a, a um, what we had, we, we, well, we had, we had certificates, money, money certificates that was backed by gold, to my understanding. So after that, and, and this is where all this other stuff comes in, you guys, the birth certificate, the driver's license, they're all assets for the government, and the government is making money off of off of, off of that stuff uh, in the stock market. It's to my knowledge, that's what they're doing, you know. So people are, have actually been apothecated. <laughs> uh, so so you don't even know, uh, you know what what is actually going on with your birth certificate or your uh social security or your driver's license even your damn marriage license is think about it with your marriage license why do you got to go get a license why do you got to go get a license it's because and then when you get a license when you get married in the church the reverend has to sign it right 
So that shows you right there that church is actually connected to the, to the goddamn state, to the government. That shows you right there. And then anytime you want to get a divorce, you got to turn around and go to court and all of that. But you got married in the church, remember? So church and state are definitely one, you know, they're, they're, they, they work together. All the, those churches that are being put up all mm -hmm. over the damn place, man, that's a, the states are behind that shit. They want to keep people sleep, but at this age of Aquarius, the game is up. The jig is up, man. People are waking up. People, your dollar is falling. People are leaving. People are, are tired of the bullshit right there in, in uh, uh, the, the corporation of the U.S. Not the land of America. The land is different from, from the damn corporation. The land is for the people. Now, they're currently calling it America, but we used to refer to the land, uh, many, many different uh, uh, titles for the land, you know. Yeah, so just want to chop it up with you guys. Don't worry about uh, don't worry about that 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 dollar. Um, they'll find a way. They'll find a way because they they got they owe people social security, retirement funds, and everything else. Don't worry about it. They'll find a way. You know they they big boys. So let them figure it out. You know, don't worry, don't stress yourself out. But I would, I would, ser seriously, if I was there, I would still, you know, put me up a few thousand in bullying, you know, because you just don't want to lose all the value of your money, you know, even if you lose 50% of your, of, of its value. You know, you get some gold and some silver, you'll be okay. So... Brother Bay, until the next time, you guys, from the Bayside. Bye, bye.